let's jump on so what did we discuss in our last class route 53 right so hi hi everyone okay so mainly in route 53 what are the features can we is it possible for to go and purchase the domain in route 53 yes possible so can we do the health checks yes and can we do the routing policies yes do you remember different types of routing policies we have learned simple routing policy failover routing policy huh? geolocation routing policy latency mainly okay so what we're going to do is <clears throat> it's very simple uh we'll go and launch ec2 instance with the load balancer we'll get a nasty url no and we'll do the makeup for that nasty url so route 53 is all about creating records route 53 is all about creating the records so what we're going to do is we set up one sample application similarly we have a load balancer that nasty url we'll put it to the nice url that is one thing and then we'll work on the routing policies right so by the way did anyone try to purchase the domain in route 53 <laughs> i know so i think mostly no huh? anywhere nowhere so you will see just practicals huh? okay no problem so so just only watch then right so those who have purchased that is good those who have not purchased did, did haven't you tried the free domains also which right so in the free domains also we have free domains no uh okay anyways take your time and then uh, register one sample domain so that you can do the practicals otherwise it's okay just watch so let me share my screen <clears throat> did i logged in okay anyways so let me share my screen guys can you please confirm can you see my screen and can you hear me well <clears throat> okay so what we're going to do is let's go and launch the ec2 instance with the load balancer with user data you are experts on this already correct yes or no so let's quickly go ahead and then uh mishra i said you guys to do the free norm not me okay <laughs> so come on what i said was the the priority is to go and purchase from route 53 if not go to godaddy if not then go to free norm right so if you go to free norm or if you go to godaddy what is the additional thing that you need to update do you remember we have ns records no so remember we have a hosted zone remember host what is hosted zone what is hosted zone container of records container of records and then hosted zone can be two types what are those public and private so <clears throat> so whenever you create a hosted zone two records will get created automatically what are those two records ns and sy record what is ns records how many servers will be there four servers these four servers you have to update it in free norm and godaddy wherever you purchase that is the only thing that you should do okay so you go and register to free norm purchase one purchase meaning register a new domain okay mishra so i'll show you from the route 53 so let's go and launch ec2 instances so call it as server 1 browse red hat so 9 a.m. 
I'm sorry, 6 p.m. Edit and put it in 1A. Select existing security groups. Select the default. Should you put our user data here? So let's go and put the user data. So where is that user data? So I'll take this user data, copy, and then paste it. So can I say this is the website on with the route 53. Should I give like this and launch? Should I go on one more, launch one more EC2 instance? Call it as server two. Browse, select, down, and then go with six PM batch. Edit it. This time I put it in one B. Select existing security group. And default and expand it and all the way go and put it to launch. What is the next thing? What should we do? Create a load balancer. So before creating a load balancer, should I go and check my security groups? What is the protocol that you should be involved? To access your application. Uh, I'm not logging in, no. So HTTP is already there select my IP. I think it's the same. So there is no change. So let's go ahead and create a load balancer. So before creating the load balancer, you need to make sure that it is working through. It is working through the IP addresses, right? So let's give a minute and then create a load balancer. Okay, let's create a load balancer meanwhile. So create load balancer, application load balancer, and call it as my LB. Everything is fine. Put it to 1A, 1B, and click on next, next, next. And here we call it as aptg. And we will put it as uh, index dot html and then click on next and we have these two machines right register and then next and then create it so now this is getting provision so now we will be accessing this this one this application using this nasty url correct is it good to give this link to the customer what we need to do we need to do the we need to create a, we, we need to go to route 53 and create a nice URL for this. Yes or no? So from here, route 53 come into picture. Okay. So let's go to route 53. Route 53 is regional or global? Very good. Route 53 is global. Do you see on the top it is global. So I told you in route 53, when you go to route 53, what is the first thing that you should create a hosted zone? What one? Hosted zone. So I already purchased the domain since many years. So I'm renewing it. You know, on the left side, if you click on the hosted zone, there is already one hosted zone, correct? So that is my domain name. What is my domain name? RiazAWSTrainer.com. So I have purchased this since many years ago and then I'm using it. So similarly, you need to purchase it. No, instead I show you how to purchase. How to purchase on the registered domains here. Search and then here do you see? 
a registered domain and you can register and can transfer your domain also let's say you have a domain in uh, godaddy can you transfer it or or you can from here you can somewhere you can also transfer okay so you can transfer in also or you can register the domains as well okay and then okay so if i go to the hosted zone as i have purchased guys as i have purchased the domain here in row 53 my hosted zone got created automatically did we learn this right so if at all you have created your host if at all you have purchased your domain in go id for example does the hosted zone will create automatically no so what we need to do we need to create so i'm just creating a hosted zone for you quickly okay create hosted zone so guys your hosted zone's name should be same as your domain name very good let's say for example boom.com did they purchase boom.com no so if you are purchasing from godid or some other third party so you purchase it and same name you have to create a hosted zone so yesterday we learned a public hosted zone and then private hosted zone which one we need to select a public hosted zone and click on create hosted zone simple so guys hosted zone got created boom.com that's so if you have your domain outside route 53 So this is how you create a hosted zone so once you created a hosted zone i told you what are the two records that you'll get automatically created ns and sy so click on it and do you see this there are two records got created ns and sy ns record is nothing but i told you how many servers will be there four servers this four servers you need to give it in your god id or somewhere when wherever you have given you give you have to wherever you have purchased you have to give this ns records there okay as i have purchased the domain in row 53 do i need to create a hosted zone no need so should i go and delete my boom.com everyone understood how to create a hosted zone yes guys in real time you don't use free nom will use free nom in real time no way free nom is just only for test purpose okay so we i recommend you to go and purchase in row 53 if not if you want to do some practicals you can create it in free nom otherwise in real time 100% no okay so i have already purchased the domain riazawstainer.com so this also has two records no ns and sy is it possible to delete these records it's not possible to delete this records okay so should we check our load balancer is healthy now so copy this and then paste it do we have this okay but is it good to give this url to customer no should we go and just create a nice record for that where should you go go to route 53 and go to hosted zone you should create inside the hosted zone correct you should create a hosted zone and do you see here create record click on create record so this is how you create the records guys okay i told you riazawstrainer.com what is called it's a naked domain yes or no this is a naked domain or you call it as main domain either you can go with a naked domain or either you can go with the sub domain do you see that either you can go with the naked domain you just if you want just only riazawstrainer.com website do you need to put the subdomain no need but if you want subdomain you can put it okay now let's take what is the first policy that we have learned routing policy simple simple routing policy what is simple routing policy simply riazawstrainer.com or okay let's say what is the subdomain should i give as simple this is my website what is my website name simple dot riazawstrainer.com that is my website name so this website this domain name i need to route it to my load balancer yes or no yes can i give only riazawstrainer.com also yes so can i give like this anything here also yes sub domain can be anything okay record types so there are see so many records are there so many records when you have time just read this record names okay so in certification sometimes they'll ask they don't ask but just in case okay so just uh, what is a record wwa record c name mx txt ptrs so all this you just read it here what you have spf recommended 
not recommended. So PTR maps an IP address to a domain name. Pointer, we call it as pointer record. So it will convert the host name to IP, IP to host name. So if you give this, you will get all the things. So which one we should use? Uh, a record. Which one is using Nana? A record. I told you alias should be always yes or no. We need to use alias record, yes or no. We need to use the alias record. What is the record that we should use? Alias. Guys, should I put, okay, see here, very important. If I don't select alias, what do you need to give here? IP address you need to give. But do we have IP address or do we have load balancer? Load balancer, right? So for that, I need to select alias, yes or no? Yes, select alias, yes. So route traffic to simple.riazairbestrainer.com should be routed to where? Choose an endpoint. What is your endpoint you have? Load balance. Do you see alias to application and classic load balance? Select that. Which region we have? Mumbai. Load balance. Do you, this is the load balance that we have created? MyLB. Hmm? Select. And routing policy. Did we learn about routing policy? Simple geolocation, latency, failover, all these things. Which one is the select? We need to select simple. Simple routing money. Do we have any health checks? No. But AWS is doing the health checks for itself. But is there any use? No use. Because simple.riazawstainer.com is just routing it to your load balancer. If something goes wrong with the load balancer, your application will work. Single point of failure. Should we create it? Let's go and create a record. Can you take the screenshot, guys, everyone online? How to create a record? Take a screenshot. <clears throat> Done. Okay. So now click on create records. So guys, I created a record. Simple, no? So once we created a record, guys, this record has to be published through all the DNS servers throughout the world, no? Because anywhere someone from US trying to access simple.riazawstrainer.com, they should be able to work, no? Yes, it should work. So for that, you need to give some time. Do you see here we have something called view status. If you click on view status, what will happen? It is still Pending. So let's wait until it is in sync. Now it is in sync. So my simple.riazawstrainer.com will work now. Should we go and check? Okay. Simple dot. Okay. I have already here. See. Do you see this now? How you map your nasty URL to your nice URL. So for this, you need to have a domain first. If you have domain, you can play with all these things. Everyone understood how to create a simple loading policy, right? So we have only, this is single failure, the single point of failure, yes or no? This is a single point of failure because your entire infrastructure is in Mumbai and you have the load balancer in Mumbai. If something goes wrong with your website, this website will work? It will not work. For that, what we need to create? What kind of routing policy we need to create? Failover routing policy. Should we go and create failover routing policy now? Everyone clear on how to create simple routing policy? Super. Online, is it clear, Ma? Chitty? Is it clear? So should I go and delete simple routing policy? Because we are done with that. I'll go and delete a record. Okay, let's say. Now, I deleted the record. Guys, now, do we have already my load balance is ready? Can I say that is my primary site? My load balancer is my primary site. Yes or no? Chitty. My primary site is my load balancer. Secondary site, can you create the same load balancer in another region? You can create. In the same region also, you can create. But anyways, we created a load balancer. You know how to create it. Differently, should I put maintenance page in S3? Creating a load balance is very routine. So a little bit different, we'll see. Your secondary site will be the S3. Where is your secondary site? Uh, S3. So in S3, should we create a public bucket and then upload maintenance.html? 
yes or no okay so what is the what is let's go to s3 let's go to s3 create bucket guys bucket name is it it is good to give the domain name because in real time guys in real in real time in your company you will have 10 20 buckets <laughs> you have thousands of buckets so inside this thousands of buckets isn't it difficult for you to identify which is your website bucket for that reason what is the best way is to give the domain name here okay first simple routing policy what is the website name we have given simple dot riaz aws terror for this failover routing policy what is an example we'll take failover dot riaz right so to be so here here riaz sorry what is that failover dot riaz aws trainer dot com should i put like this so in your real time it is easy to identify this is the best practice okay okay so where do you create nana in which region mumbai select mumbai this is enable disable enable public access okay and then go ahead and click on create packet so now got created now what i need to upload here uh, a small maintenance.html. How do you create a maintenance.html? So you can ask your developers to create a nice maintenance.html page. Otherwise, can you create simply? Okay, let me. So we have, let's say, for example, uh, there is nothing. Okay, let's say, for example, I create a small uh, text file. What is that? Maintenance.html html open it can we call it as uh, give me one line huh? welcome i just go yeah dalu kaange bike drive pancharoga iska okay so tell me, oops, huh? um, our website is done. We will come back soon. Should I give like this? In real time, your developer will, give, will create a nice page. Here, I'm just giving like this, okay? Okay. So, or else you can say site is under maintenance as Rao said, okay? Uh, but remember, in your real time, don't say website is down. <laughs> Otherwise, your customers will feel really bad. So, you need to say that site is under maintenance, but I'm just giving for fun, okay? Save it. And can we rename this to HTML? Edit. Uh -huh. Rename. Oh, save as no. I save as maintenance dot HTML. No. Okay, create one small maintenance dot HTML. Should I go and upload this? Let's go and upload to here. And then upload. So once after upload, what I need to do first? Uh, uh, I need to make public. Now, what we need to do? Enable the static website hosting. You guys are experts now already on this. Enable and here what I need to put uh, maintenance.html. 
share. So just you got this URL, just check whether that is working or not. Okay, that's fine. It's working. So guys, now our primary site is ready. What is our, which is our primary site? Load balancer, which is our secondary site? S3. So make sure that you have your sites ready first. So primary site is your load balancer and secondary site can also be your load balancer. Yes or no? Right. If you don't want to have maintenance page and if you want to have your website running 24 by 7, have two parallel similar setups. Otherwise, go for this. Okay. Now, should we go to and create a record? How many records, Nana, we need to create? How many records we need to create? Two records. Click on create record. Ah, what is the name? You can put any name also. Okay. Mail over. A record type is fine. Alias. Yes. And okay. Now we need to create two records. Now let's create the first record. First record is primary or secondary? Primary. Let's create a primary. Which is the primary? Load balancer. So here select a application load balancer. Region. Okay. Region is. Where is Mumbai? Uh, load balancer, we have this. Routing policy should be which one? Ah, fair lower routing policy. This record is which record? Primary, which record is this? Primary record. So which one I need to select here? Primary, you need to select. So health check, guys. Generally, okay, if primary is down, then only the request will route to the secondary correct but how does the route 53 knows the primary is down using health check there are two things either we can create our own health check here on the left side do you see health checks you can create your own health checks or you will you ask aws to do a health checks should we ask aws to do the health checks available at target health yes okay so record id can be any name call it as Mumbai ELB primary. Okay. This is how you create the primary record. Guys, take the screenshot. Everyone. Because as you have not purchased the domain, this screenshot will help you how to create a record in your real time in future. You took the screenshot, Nana? Everyone? You, one or two people can take and put it in the group. Done. So we need to create one more record, no? So either you click on, either you click on create record or either you click on add another record. Both are same. Click on add another record. And the record name should be same or different? Uh, it should be very good, guys. It should be same. Alias. Yes. And now, which one I should be pointing to? Excellent. We need pointed to S3. Which region we have created? Mumbai region. And do you see this here website? Failover riazidemstandard.com. Select this. And which routing policy? Failover. And this record is secondary record. And here you need to give the name. Name should be uh, Mumbai S3. Second, take the screenshot of secondary record. Okay. Okay. Should we go to create a records now? Click on create records. So how many records are getting created? Two records. So we now we need to wait now. View status. Let's wait until it is in sync. Once it is in sync, can we use this URL now? Failover URL. So now when I type failover.riazawstainer.com, which one I should get faster? Load balancer you need to get. So then what I do, I'll go and 
stop my ec2 instances i'll i'll simulating the failover so refresh it it is still pending it is in sync now now should we go and check it tana let's go to failover dot rias adapter you got it very fast right now what we do so let us simulate the concept so the simulate meaning we'll make the primary site completely down so let's go ahead to our ec2 and these two ec2 instances just in case due to xyz reason your primary site is not working just in case in real time in real time due to some xyz reason your primary site your load balancer your application in mumbai is not working so now route 53 should identify that because of health checks and then your route 53 will be routed the traffic to maintenance page s3 which is in s3 guys now we have set up s3 if you are if you have a parallel another elb setup do you see any difference if your primary site is down also the secondary site same application will be there your route 53 will be sending to the secondary and just in case if your primary site is up again route 53 will send back to the primary again super so these are stop no so now now route 53 has been route 53 might have already already identified your primary site is down and then uh, should we go and refresh it guys here the url should change no url should be same that doesn't matter doesn't make any sense if you change the url so if i refresh it i should get what uh do you see this now whoops uh, our website is down we'll come back so this is how you do it in real time all are bloody real times only because in your real time <clears throat> you should you should you should be the position to handle <laughs> okay you can have some fun also here by putting page not found <laughs> so he'll keep on refreshing what happened page is not found huh? okay so nana you all understood how to set up simple routing policy failover routing policy okay now what would be the next routing policy should we do geo location let's have some fun for geo location routing policy what is geo location routing policy based on location based on the location so now i want to ask uh, anyone here out of uh, uh, from i mean not from india anyone from outside so that you can do some testing tell me your country name where are you staying now us which which region north virginia okay michigan oh yo okay we have only one person from usa any other people from any other country oh japan tokyo any other people virginia okay so so we have in uk also okay fine so let's take usa should we take north virginia so R ravi chandra so we need your help to do the testing okay what we going to do is city what we going to so should i go and terminate everything i'll do it from freshly okay i'm terminating everything okay i'm terminating everything and i deleting the records also i'll do it freshly for you again <laughs> oh ho where is delete record so i need to read one by one or what huh oh sorry okay so delete <clears throat> now i am clean okay i don't have anything so what we going to do is like this guys 
I'll go and launch one EC2 instance in Mumbai. I'll go and launch one EC2 instance in Mumbai. And I'll put the user data and call it as this is from Mumbai. Okay. Similarly, I'll go and launch one more EC2 instance in another region. Which region? Virginia. And I call it as this is from and Virginia. Because as we have our friend there, uh, Ravi Chandra, he will test it. So now I need to create how many records? How many records you need to create? Two records you need to create. So what is the name of our website now for this? Give some name. Should I put geo.riasawstrainer.com? Okay. So now, guys, I am from Hyderabad here. Now, if I access geo.riasawstrainer.com, who should reply now? Mumbai should reply. The same URL if Ravi Chandra has access from North Virginia. And the same URL, he should get it from? He should from North Virginia. This is for Ravi and this is for Riyaz. Should we want to do this? This is also a real time thing. So for this, what I need to do, where should I go and launch the EC2 instance first? In Mumbai region, correct? When we launch it in one Mumbai region. Everyone, you got it? So call it as Mumbai server and browse. Select it. XBM batch. Edit. Put it in 1A. Existing security group. Default. Should we put the user data? User data, we'll put it. And user data, what should I do here? Install. Uh, I call it as this is from. Mumbai location. What happens if he access the website which is Mumbai region from there? Meaning, what happens if he access the website which in Mumbai region from there? I didn't understand that question. Please put the frame it again, please. There meaning where? Huh. That is what we are doing it now. He's asking, sir, what happened if he access this website from North Virginia? Yes, I'll ask Ravi to access it. Okay, what he'll get uh, from North Virginia, you'll get it. So I'll go and launch. I have launched this EC2 instance. Okay. And now I need to launch one more EC2 instance. Where? In North Virginia. Let's go and so let's select North Virginia. Go to EC2. Go ahead and then launch instance. launch instance so i called it as virginia instance browse select it and select our red hat so down so we have North Virginia key pair. We don't log in, no. So, but you need to have one key pair. Edit it. Subnet. I'll put it in. There are so many subnets. I'll put it in 1A. Enable. Select existing security group. Default. 
and then in advance so i just go ahead and put the user data and call it as location and then launch you all understood what i'm doing yes yes oh, not now ravi once that is ready i'll ask you to test so let's wait until this is up and running and in mumbai mumbai okay we need to cross check no whether it is working or not our user data executed properly or not right so okay this is working so let's wait for virginia okay now guys in the previous previous topic i used load balancers and i showed you with the load balancer i showed you with s3 also now i will show you with the ip address do we have a load balancer here can we have load balancer also yes but i'm showing you now with the ip address okay so north virginia is not ready yet so make sure okay now question here is north virginia who, now this website should be accessed by whom ravi so that meaning in security group do i need to give my ip whose ip i should give ravi's ip instead of asking ravi's ip should i make it at 0.0.0, .0? yes so go to security group in inbound rules edit inbound rules oh i already have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, slash 0 or else i need to ask ravi give me the ip address and what he'll do, he'll go to Google and type what is my IP and he gives the IP address. So instead of giving access to everyone, so I can give access only to that person. Okay. So otherwise you can give for all like this. Okay. So our North Virginia is ready. Ah, North Virginia is also ready. Should we want to create a records now? yes click on create record what is the subdomain should i put geo okay ah uh, alias yes or no uh, alias uh, no because here i need to put the ip address so how many records i need to create here two records i need to create right two records i need to create so for what is the first record Mumbai. So should we go and copy the Mumbai IP address? Copy the Mumbai IP address. No need, Ravi. I used all access. Okay. So okay. So let's go to and should I put it here? In real time, can you put multiple IPs also here? You can put no issues. Okay. And then here we have TTL. No, no, TTL meaning your browser. Whenever I type geo.riazawstainer.com, browser will go and touch whom first uh, route 53. So when the route route 53 will give this IP address to the browser, yes or no? Yes. Now all of a sudden, somehow I change the IP address. And what is the TTL value here? You have 300. What is TTL? Time to live. So 300 seconds, that IP address will be there in that browser. And the request will not come back to me for 300 seconds. Because Route 50 has given that, oh, this is the IP address, use it. And how, for how long it will cache? Five minutes it will cache. But if I change the IP address here, my website will work in the browser? No. For that reason, TTL value should be larger or lower. Uh, lower is always good. Should I go and put it one minute? Better. And routing policy, which one I need to use? Huh? Which one? Geo location. Select geo location. Ah, this this IP address is which location? You need to put enter values on the separate lines. Mother, do you see this? So add enter and add it. No commas. So I need to select here Mumbai. Do I have Mumbai? No. So instead of that, I need to put uh, India. Select India. Do you have any health checks? No. But if required, can you create health checks? 
So I call it as Mumbai Geo. So I created this record. Okay, take the screenshot. <laughs> take the screenshot. So we need to create one more record. So I need to click on add another record. And record name should be same or different? Same, very good. Alias, no. So this time I need to put which one? Nad Virginia. Select it here and put it here. Detail value, one minute. And if here, geolocation. Location, Nad Virginia. Virginia only, no? Okay. So I call it as Virginia. Geo. Should I go and create records now? Sir, what if we stop and start the incident? Then we do we need to come back and give the new IP? Yes. But in general, will you go with the IP address in your real time? No, go with the load balancer. If at all you want to give the IP address, will you use public IP or elastic IP? Elastic IP you give. Okay, Sushan. Now let's take view status in sync already. So should we go and check it now? Okay. Now, Ravi, click on the URL and I also click on the URL here and paste the, and also it will take little bit time because he's in US, no? So it has to go all the way through the, and update the DNS records throughout the world. It will, it might take time, but let's see. geo.riazawstrainer.com. What I am getting here? Mumbai location. So Ravi, it's your turn. Can you please? Okay, I'll copying and pasting it to you. Click on that and then paste the output. For Ravi, what you should what you should get? No version. So guys, I'm giving you this only small application. In real time, it will be a big application, right? So you will get like this. Understood, no? So on Route 53 is all about playing with the records. And then now. Meanwhile, once the Ravi started putting it, uh, and the next we have what? Latency routing policy. Latency meaning based on what? Based on latency. So for that, how the exam, how you can do the practical areas? Can you launch one EC2 instance in uh, Tokyo? One more EC2 instance in Ireland? Okay. So I want one EC2 instance to launch it in, okay. Okay, so I launched one EC2 instance in, obviously no, Sharif is asking, without launching instance in North Virginia, Ravi can't access the website. No, no, no. Do we need to launch an EC2? Do Ravi need to launch an EC2 instance in North Virginia? No, it is through internet only, no, not Sharif. Okay, so Ravi Chandra, just open in your laptop, open the browser and just hit it. Okay, so guys, latency meaning I create one. Uh, okay, so he got an uh, error, but let's wait for some time. So I'm sure because have we it. Yes, because it's taking a long time because you need to wait for a little bit time because it has to go and update the DNS server, right? After some time, automatically he'll get it. So meanwhile, latency-based routing policy, guys, launch one EC2 instance in Ireland and call it as this is from Ireland. Can you launch one more EC2 instance in which region? Tokyo, you can launch in Tokyo. So in say, call it as this is from Okay, now you are sitting here and accessing it, which uh, latency dot rias, rias AWS trainer dot com. Okay, now tell me how many records I need to create for this? Again, two records. And what routing policy? Latency routing policy. 
now tell me who should, from where i should get reply from this sa uh, this sa uh, based on the low letter how do i know how do we know generally guess it ireland is near for us or tokyo is near huh I, i'm just uh, okay i'm i'm just curious uh -huh. where is tokyo here huh tokyo is here and uh, our baby will be here somewhere on top the iceland where is ireland uh -huh. ah yeah yeah okay so now tell me tokyo is here ah tokyo is here ireland is here so we are here so whichever is giving the low latency you will get it i have been here 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 <laughs> right here also <laughs> okay is it clear guys so you just need to launch two ec2 instances in different regions and then create a latency based routing policy do you know how to create a latency based routing policy simple instead of geo location you select the latency base clear will able to do this simple no routing policy simple route 53 it's very simple so if you want to anywhere okay cloud front also you did you get the nasty url no so can you create can you create a nice url here yes simple right so here create a record so i put alias yes and traffic route to cloud front distribution select this and if you have distribution automatically you will get it here and uh, if you have uh, if you have bean stack bean stack do you see here bean stack is also giving the nasty url na environment url so you select the bean stack url and if you created global accelerator remember global accelerator so global accelerator is pointing to your load balancer right so that global accelerator will also have a nasty url you select it here so it just all about so maximum people will go with a simple routing policy only but if you have any requirement to uh, have a disaster recovery and then high availability on your application level go for failover routing policies and if you feel that if you have your customers throughout the world and uh, based on the based on the customer location if you want to get replies from the region go with the geo location routing policy and latency based routing policy will able to do it nana clear easy ah latency is based on the uh yes provided so how much is how much is the seconds how many seconds you said two seconds mumba ah two seconds it will go to two seconds yes but just generally that will not be the case generally it can't be the case but if at all it is a case let's just in case in you are the same region your application is loaded heavy and then a lot of huge traffic doesn't matter you get it from other region instead of that you'll get it fast no from other region no problem madhav it's okay guys there is one thing here 
uh, one thing here. So, in geolocation routing policy, Ravi Chandra is in North Virginia. Right? Ravi Chandra is North Virginia. And I created two records. One is North Virginia, one is Mumbai. Let's say Sharif is in uh, Uganda. Or <laughs> Sharif is in uh, which place? Hong Kong. Thank God you didn't say Bangkok. Savatika. <laughs> Okay, let's say he's in Bangkok. Huh? So now you have a question, sir. And, and uh, Sharif is also accessing it from Bangkok. Then he will get the website, yes or no? So guys, so you can say that, let's say for example, while creating it here, uh, geolocation routing policy, or let's say for example, this one. And if you select in geolocation here, location, you know, you can put it as, default. Anyone coming from North Virginia, they'll get from North Virginia. Anyone coming from India, they'll get it from Mumbai. And rest everyone, you create one more EC2 instance, put it anywhere and select default. And for them, you will get it. Otherwise, they don't get it at all. How we know low latency according to the distance? Do we need to know? Who will take care of that? Uh, Route 53 will take care of this. You know we need to worry on that. Mishra. Okay, now, so, so I'll, and by the way, guys, I am deleting the records and I'm not sure whether because you are, you are purchasing the domain or, but it will be really fun if you purchase, if you purchase it for free. Can you do that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No response. Okay. I deleted it, but that is how it should work, Karthik. Okay. No issues. Check it from Freenom. No. Freenom. Go to Freenom and purchase one small. No, don't purchase. Register one small domain. In that, you have updated the NS record. You create a manual hosted on here and you update that four servers in your free norm. And then you can and create the records. Try it out. If not, you have this, you took the screenshot also. No? In real time, if you remember, you can do this. Otherwise, it's up to you. Okay. Excellent. So guys, that will be on the Route 53. And tomorrow will be the very, very, very important topic, which is VPC. And people say that VPC is very difficult, but I'll make it very easy. But I'm um, guys, those don't miss the class tomorrow because if you miss the class tomorrow, day after tomorrow, you will not understand anything on the VPC because VPC is the basics. I mean, uh, I'll be teaching you. VPC will be easy until you catch the pulse of VPC. Mass mathematics will be easy if you know the formulas. If you don't know the formulas, it's very hard. Similarly, in VPC, I'll teach you the order and then the pulse, how to catch the pulse of the VPC. And you can architect the entire VPC within a few minutes, a few seconds. Okay? Don't miss the class tomorrow. Can you give the final CC for today, please? Super. Okay, guys, by the way, guys, by the way, yesterday, I gave you one another small task. What was that? Uh, have you done? Huh? Yes, have you done? Out of these many people, only two people did. One is Pasha and another is some other person. Is it uh, hard or will it take time then? Okay. So guys, please do it uh, because your feedbacks will really help others. Okay. So directly or indirectly, 
you are telling you are helping others to set up their career on aws so don't take it easy please so please go ahead and then complete your feedback because we have only two or three days left so after three days definitely you will not come back to me again so for that reason so please complete your um, feedbacks by today okay thank you guys see you tomorrow with the next vpc topic and then take care bye bye have a nice day and good night